welcome back guys this is falgun again we are here in this platform to discuss about uh, most probably this is the last topic of this uh, chapter that is apomixis and polyembryony okay first of all let us understand what is apomixis well apomixis is the mechanism to produce seeds but in this case seeds are produced without fertilization that is a main point to be noted without fertilization seeds are produced but till now what we have understood that we have understood that seeds are produced after fertilization right after fusion of male and female gamete after development of embryo and everything after basically after fertilization only we have understood till now that after fertilization the seeds are produced but in this case it is quite different see whenever sexual reproduction occurs there is genetic variability yes that means offsprings are quite different as compared to the parents yes they are similar but not same but in this case as with uh, seeds are produced without fertilization that is the reason why there is the formation of clones occurs yes clones are nothing but uh, these are the individuals which are same as compared to parents there is no genetic variability otherwise i can say that the genetic composition of parent and offspring will be same that is why we call uh, it as an clones and genetic composition between the between the individuals will be also same right in that case we call it as an clones normally clones are produced in asexual form of reproduction but in this case there is a formation of clones if there is formation of clones as i mentioned that there is no genetic variability that occurs here see apomixis can occur in various ways there are only two forms of apomixis what we are going to discuss in this video so let us begin the first way uh, see here in this diagram as you can see yes here let me just change the color of the pen yeah okay so this portion this portion of uh, ovule this portion of ovule is called as an nucellus right this portion of ovule is called as an nucellus which surrounds the embryo sac well what happens in this uh, form of apomixis is the cell the cell of nucellus or rather i can say nucellar cell which are basically diploid the cells which is present here let me just draw the cells which is present here are diploid in nature that is obvious right as they are vegetative cell so they they must be diploid right this cell is diploid in nature 2n that is diploid in nature right so what happens in here is these nucellar cells they divide continuously and they are obviously they are present outside the embryo sac these nucellar cells they divide continuously and get inside get inside the embryo sac embryo sac once this nucellar cell or cells gets into the embryo sac now that particular cell gets developed into embryo so that is what it happens here so what we have understood from this discussion is embryo is developed from the cell of nucellus so that is the main point to be noted here if more than one cell gets into the embryo sac then it is obvious that there will be formation of more embryo i mean to say there will be formation of more than one embryo that is obvious right that is the condition where we call that condition as an polyembryo as it is mentioned here okay poly means many embryony means embryo poly embryony all together we call it as an poly embryony okay basically this poly embryonic condition can be seen particularly in citrus 
प्लांट्स एंड मैंगो एज वेल साइट्रस इज नथिंग बट लेमन ऑरेंज दो काइंड ऑफ पर्टिकुलर ट्रीज राइट सो दिस इज द टाइम टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ द एपोमिक्सिस सो वॉट बेसिकली हैपन्स यूर सो हाउ एम्ब्रियो इज फॉर्म सो दैट इज द मेन क्वेश्चन हियर इन द सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ एपोमिक्सिस वेल पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड हियर इज एक्सेल इज नॉट फॉर्म एज अ रिडक्शन रिविजन ओके वॉट इज इट मीन एज वी ऑल नो फ्रॉम प्रीवियस क्लासेस दैट बिफोर फर्टिलाइजेशन वॉट हैपन्स इज मेल मदर सेल इज प्रेजेंट ओके इन सिमिलरली इन फीमेल फीमेल मदर सेल इज प्रेजेंट ओके विच इज डिप्लॉयड इन नेचर हियर विच इज डिप्लॉयड इन नेचर एज वेल मेल मदर सेल गेट्स डिवाइडेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ मियोसिस or reductional division the same occurs in female as well as a result it forms male gametes yes same with the female as well it forms female gametes in the case of female okay so female gametes are haploid in nature so fusion of uh, female and male gamete it forms zygote that we know right so here in this case as we can see this particular egg the female gamete what we call it as an egg this particular egg that is uh, female gamete is haploid in nature haploid in nature but in this case the egg cell which is formed that is not haploid while in this case the egg cell which is formed is the diploid cell if the egg cell is diploid in nature then there will be no fertilization that will be taking place in this case in the second form of epomixis so the egg cell which is diploid in nature that directly forms embryo without fusion with the male gamete there is no need of male gamete in this case because egg cell is not haploid but it is diploid so diploid cell directly forms embryo of course embryo is also diploid in nature this kind of situation what we call it as an apomixis again but here in this second form of apomixis what we have learned is the embryo is formed from the diploid egg or diploid unfertilized egg i can rather say that understood that diploid unfertilized egg develops into embryo so that is how uh, the apomixis completes in this case okay we have understood about the two forms of apomixis now let us uh, take a look about uh, the benefits of apomixis okay so what are the main benefits that uh, apomixis can offer so so the first benefit first and foremost the main benefit is that clonal reproduction so what is clonal reproduction apomixis helps to produce the clones i had discussed with you guys that uh, what is clones so that is the main point uh, of view or point to be understood so in apomixis clonal reproduction occurs okay next new hybrids are produced in lesser time this is also one kind of benefit that apomixis provides third benefit is disease free plants can be produced okay and final last benefit is those plants which are produced uh, with the help of apomixis they are cost effective they are cost effective plants so that was all about apomixis and polyembryony thank you for joining in this is your falgun signing out once again before signing out just want to uh, tell you guys if you are new to this uh, channel consider subscribing because i'll be bringing you tons of videos based on the 
based on the science topics. It's time. Thank you for joining me.